Jin Sakai refuses to give up the ghost, returning in an all-new expansion on Iki Island. Hey fellow gamers, I'm Cody Byrne with Game Rant News. Sony has officially revealed the Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut for PS4 and 5 that will include a new Ikishima expansion and some additional exclusive features. Though rumors pointed to the game being announced at PlayStation State of Play event, the info instead dropped on the PlayStation blog earlier this week, with an expected launch date of August 20th bundling together the base game and all post-launch content. Instead of being a standalone expansion, the Iki Island content will be rolled into the original narrative, adding a new story, locations, characters, and more after the player makes their way to the Toyotama region in Act 2. Those returning to the game will be able to transfer their save data from PS4 to PS5 and make their way directly to the Iki Island content if they've already played through the campaign. Though the Director's Cut will release for both previous and next-gen systems, the PS5 will have some additional features, such as lip-sync for Japanese voiceover, haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, 3D audio support, improved load times, 4K resolution, and targeted 60fps. Unlike most digital upgrades, this one won't be free, as a move from the base game on PS4 will cost $19.99, while the jump from a PS4 Director's Cut to the same PS5 version will cost you $9.99. To upgrade the base PS4 version to the PS5 Director's Cut will run fans a whopping $29.99 for access to the expansion and exclusive features. Which may be disappointing for some, but those who love the game will likely jump at the chance to return to this vibrant world. Offering all this along with updates to combat mechanics, Legends multiplayer, photo mode and accessibility options, there can be no doubt that a return to this samurai odyssey through 13th century Japan will be a memorable one. Make sure to check out GameRant.com for all your latest gaming news, reviews, and trailers. I'm Cody Byrne. Until next time, game on!